Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for another contest entry. This one is going to be for Goomba213. His uh, contest is what's inside that counts. He wants us to show basically what's inside a comic book, uh, what why it is uh, that is this what it is with the story that makes it special, and just to go through the book. I thought the most appropriate book for me to pull out would be this one right here. Sandman, number eight, first appearance of death. Recently recommended this in another giveaway, asking if there's one comic book that you would recommend for a single story for people to check out. Uh, this is the one that I recommended, so I thought that would probably be more probably appropriate as well for this to be the one that I show and what in what is it that is inside that counts. Anyway, I don't want to open this up and uh, pull through this partic this particular book. I'm just showing this to show the cover. Um, what I do have. Is actually the uh, trade paperback version of this as well which includes uh, 1 through 8 which is includes that one right there but I thought I'd show off the cover there because then I can flip through this here and I can actually show off the story here uh, which is actually called the sound of her wings um, and I'm really a big fan of this particular story because we're talking about um, two godlike creatures are called the endless uh, you have uh, Sandman, Morpheus, Dream, whichever version of the name you want to call him, uh, as the lord of dreams and stories and tales and, and nightmares as well. Um, one of the characters in here. And then he spends some time during his day while sitting at the park having a conversation with his sister who shows up uh, as death. And when I first read this book, it kind of gave me a whole different perspective. Everybody thinks of the Grim Reaper and the Psy and that as the, the, the vision of death. And to have some girl show up that is actually more of a, a goth, emo, uh, punk, whatever you want to call her at the time, uh, showing up as death and sitting down and having a conversation with her brother um, about his bad day <laughs> and actually it's kind of also a uh, look at the day in the life of death as well um, she kind of hangs out with her brother talks to him about why he's down and uh as they go through it, she actually joins him um, while he is, she's going ab uh, out and about. And uh, they leave while she goes and does her thing and visits some of the folks um, that it is their time to come up. And actually, as you go through the storyline, and it you actually get somebody who's... Um, just it is he's an uh, old man who's actually dying of natural causes he's lived a long life in one case and you go from that into a uh, accidental death of a comedian um, that is on stage and is electrocuted here and you go and check out actually an infant the uh, infant crib death as well actually the baby talks to her and has a, you know is that all the life i get to live and as dream is actually going through the day and realizing that these people are afraid of uh of death um the well actually the the idea of dying but they seem to go calmly with her um as they go through and he kind of comes finally to the conclusion 
that he's, you know, it's, um, oh, and actually we go back to where we started here. This young kid that was at the park where they started is actually one of her first stops, but actually she's coming back and he was actually in an accident. But it comes to the actual end here where Dream is, um, kind of in a better mood. He's more of a, he is kind of a, a brooding dark character to begin with, but after spending the day with his sister, he actually, you know, feels better and is ready to get back to um, work, back to uh, World of Dreams. But I thought it was kind of a cool idea to actually just go and walk through a day in the life of death and the things that she does during the course of a day while talking and just chilling with her brother. And it is it kind of humanizes these two characters as well when you're talking about and dealing with um, a brother-sister relationship. But we're also talking about death and we're talking about the Lord of Dreams uh, at the same time who seem to have their own, you know, personal problems as well. And talk it out with their brothers and sisters hanging out in the park. Anyway, that is, like I said, one of my favorite stories uh, from Sandman was the introduction of death into that series. And I thought I'd share that with everybody. But anyway, I hope that answers his questions. And I hope you enjoyed checking out what was here and maybe... It's a story that you might be interested in checking out as well. But anyways, that is, once again, from the first group of stories, Preludes and Nocturnes, from Neil Gaiman and Sandman. More specifically, that was issue number eight, which is the very first appearance of the, like I said, for me, it was a kind of an epiphany with seeing a different representation of death in, um, Kind of a girl who's, who's more zen um, than <laughs> uh, scary, you know. Anyway, but that was what I thought I'd show off for Goomba213. Uh, congratulations on your uh, milestone. Go check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description down below. And thank you for watching.